Hi. So I have my app over here, and I have my watch app over here. The iPhone 13 is connected to my Apple Watch Series 7. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this iPhone app here check if the watch is reachable and then connect to it. And then over here, I'm going to have the app take a message input and then send it over to the watch app. And the message that I'll send to my watch app is going to appear over here. When I click refresh, the message is going to appear here that we got from the iPhone app. Doing that is very simple. First thing, I need to create a watch connector class that connects my iPhone and my watch app. Let's start by the iPhone side. Before we do any of this, make sure that your iPhone simulator is paired with your watch app. And you can check if it is by going to the watch app in your iPhone simulator and checking the watch name over here that it's paired to. To pair your iPhone simulator with a watch app, just go to go here, go to your simulators, click on add additional simulators, you'll get this view. And over here you can select your simulator and add the watch to it. Now how do we connect the iPhone app to the watch app? Let's start with the iPhone app. First, let's go to our iPhone project folder over here. And I'm going to create a watch connected class over here using the watch connectivity library. And all, what this will do is that it will activate a session that connects the iPhone app to the watch app. The code just looks like this. This is all you need. Feel free to copy it. Now go back to your content view. And over here, I'll just create an instance of that class like this. And then over here, I'm going to create a method that checks if the watch app is reachable. Just like this. If it's reachable, I'm going to highlight that in my state variable. Like, like this. Now let's go to the watch app folder over here and we're going to do the same thing. Also using the watch connectivity library, I'm going to create a, I'm going to create a class here that also creates a session of communication between the app watch and the iPhone app. And over here I can handle when the watch receives a message from the iPhone app. And I will receive that message and store it in memory like this. This is how I receive the message. Here I'm going to store it on my watch's internal memory. And just like we did in the iPhone app, we need to create an instant of that class and our content view. So you go to your content view and create an instant of the watch connection class over here. And that's it. By just creating the classes in each the iPhone side and the watch side, we establish the connection as soon as you run the app. So let's try that out and see if that's true. Running the app. Here we go. Activate. And the watch is activated. It means that we're connected. The watch is reachable. Now I'm going to add an input. I'm going to have the iPhone app able to take a message over here like test. And then when I click send the message, the message is going to print out over here. To do that, let's go back to the iPhone app project folder. Back to the iPhone content view. And over here, I'm going to copy the code that checks if the watch is reachable and place it over here. But I will add the little piece of code over here that when the watch app is available, I will send the message that I tapped in earlier. And it will look like this. Here, I'm sending my message as just a message. I can name this whenever I want so that I know what is the data that I'm retrieving on the other side of the app. And this is my state variable that's going to hold the input from the text field, which is inputted right here. And then when I click on the button, it will call that function and send the message over. But the message won't just show over here automatically. I need to implement something that when I click on the refresh button, it will check if the message is received and then display it over here, which happens over here. This is my refresh button. And I'm going to check if the message was received over here. This is my function that will get the message that was received from the iPhone. Now, if you go back to the watch connector, you can see here that I received the message. And then what I do is that I store it in the watch's memory. And then I give it the key name message. This is the class that lets you store things on the watch's internal memory. So I receive my message from the iPhone and then I store it on the watch's memory. And then when I click on refresh over here, what's going to happen is that this function is going to get called. And then I'm going to retrieve the message that I received from the iPhone from the internal memory just like this. I'm moving myself over so you can get a better view of the function. This is how you would retrieve the message from the internal memory. And then you will set the message that you retrieve from the internal memory to the state variable message, which will display simply over here. Now to test this out, I'm going to rerun my watch app to refresh my code. Okay, my watch app is running on my slow computer and when I click refresh, nothing happens. Friends out here that could not get message from the watch memory because we haven't received any message yet. So now let's run our iPhone and send that message. Okay, first thing first, check if your watch is reachable. It is. Now I'm going to click over here. I'm going to type in test. And I'm going to send it over. Now let's go over here and check if the message is received. Click refresh and the message is received. And we simply disconnected the watch app to the iPhone app and that's it.
that's easy. That's how you communicate. Hope that was helpful. If you liked, you liked this video, if it was simple to understand and easy, please hit like. And if you have any questions, you can just leave it out in the comments. If you would like to get the source code for this project so you won't have to code it from the scratch, you can subscribe to my Patreon in the description where I post all the source codes for all of my projects and everything on these videos. Have a good day. See you later.